In this video, we're going to find the derivative of this function. So we're going to use something called the quotient rule. So whenever you have a fraction and you have like a variable over a variable and you can't really simplify it, you use the quotient rule. If instead I had a number here like 1, then you would bring it up and just take the derivative using the chain rule. But since it's a function of x over a function of x and you can't really simplify it in any nice clever way, um, let's just take the derivative. So first let me refresh your memory on the quotient rule. So if you have f over g, and you take the derivative, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom one squared. So the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom and squared. You can also think of it as first and second. The derivative of the first times the second minus the first derivative of the second over the second one squared. Okay, so here let's carefully go through it. So y prime it's the derivative of the top. So the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x times the derivative of the inside, which is 2. So it's going to be e to the 2x times the derivative of 2x, which is 2. So this is the derivative of the top piece times the bottom piece. So e to the 2x plus 7 minus the top piece. So e to the 2x times the derivative of the bottom piece. So the derivative of e to the 2x, again, is e to the 2x times, chain rule, right, derivative of the inside, 2. The derivative of 7 is 0, so we're good. All over the bottom piece squared. Let me go over that again, just to make sure it's right. Um, let's just go through it again. So the derivative of the top piece is e to the 2x, check, times the derivative of the inside, so 2, check. So this whole thing here is the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top piece, so so far so good, right, times the bottom minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom. So this derivative is e to the 2x times 2, boop, that's 7, and so we're good to go. So y prime, I think it's going to clean up nicely. I haven't done this problem. Usually I don't do the problems uh, before making videos, so it's always... It's always a little bit of a surprise, but this should clean up. Let's see. So, hmm. So 2e to the 2x times this. So we're multiplying all three of these. When you multiply these, you add the exponents, right? It's e to the 2. When you do this, you get this. Because 2x plus 2x is 4x. You add the exponents. This will be 2e to the 4x. And then this times this. So 14e to the 2x. Right, 2 times 7 is 14. So these multiply, so this times this will give you 2e to the 4x, because 2x plus 2x is 4x. This times this, 2 times 7 is 14, so you get that, that's an x. My, oh, look, minus 2e to the 4x, ah. Oh. Yeah, things just work out sometimes, right, for the better, because these go away. Very, very good. It's a good feeling. So this is 14 e to the 2x all over the bottom piece squared. So e to the 2x. You know that feeling when you get something pretty in a problem and you feel like, yeah, I must be doing it right. It's one of those, one of those moments. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.